Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today I have some book mail that I want to share with you all. So if you want to know all the books that I have received over the past week, please stay tuned. And I am back and also if you're new to my channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. So like I said before, I'll be sharing with you pretty much some book mail. There's going to be two books that I had um, bought from Barnes and Nobles. There's one copy that I had previously last year, but I had given it to a friend. Um, and then the other one, I just wanted to pretty much treat myself pretty much for both books. I did treat myself because um, my birthday was on the 15th. So I wanted to get some books. And then on top of that, I had published mail as well too. So there's a big stack right here. So let's go ahead and get started with this first package, which I believe this is one of the books I had ordered for um, from Barnes and Nobles. So let me um, open this one real quick. Yes, okay. So I had gotten this book a long time ago, but then I had given it to a friend because she just really fell in love with it and I wasn't planning on reading this book anytime soon. So I had given it to her and then I went ahead and got myself another copy. This is Sarah J Mass. This is the uh, the Crescent, uh, Crescent City series. This is House of Earth and Blood. This is the first book and then the second book does come out in February, I believe on the 15th, I think. Um, so yeah, I've been wanting to read this. I think everybody has seen this all over booktube by now and it's still traveling all the way through booktube because some people are reading it this month as well as well as I, uh, I am because I do have this also on audiobook. So I am going to be pretty much hybrid reading where I'll be following along, listening and and following along with the physical copy um but yes this I'm glad I was able to get the copy because I also love the end pages because it looked so gorgeous now I will say I'm not going to read the synopsis for this book because if you are planning on reading this I heard that it pretty much gives you nothing but spoilers in the synopsis right here on the flap so I'm not even going to do that to y'all um but I am I'm admiring like I said the end pages it's gorgeous um I this book is long it's <laughs> at least around uh 800 pages so i expect nothing less from sarah j mass i love her um akatar series and i have a feeling i'm gonna love this uh this new adult series so yeah <clears throat> i am going to be reading this i believe starting the next week um before the month is over so yeah i think this is going to be an interesting book and an interesting read so this is one book that i had bought for my birthday and then this is the other book that I had gotten for my birthday and it's from Barnes and Noble. So let me open this one as well. And I had been wanting to read this series for quite a long time. Um, I had pre-ordered the third book. Um, so I have the third book, but I didn't have the first two books, um, but I've gotten the first books now. And that is, uh, Jade City by Fonda Lee. It says family is duty, magic is power, honor is everything. Um, I do plan on reading this. I'm thinking I might actually start reading this maybe um, probably either February or March but I was just fascinated by it. I've been seeing it all over booktube. I've heard nothing but great things about this adult series so I'm all for it and I definitely want to read more adult uh, fiction. Um, but let me read the synopsis for this one but and also I did want to get the hardcover like I I do like paperbacks but I want to get the hardcover since I have a third book which is a hardcover so I want it the books to match right uh, that's a little pet peeve of mine like if I have like the first book is paperback every all the other books might as well be paperback and if not then everything's hardcover uh, but for the synopsis for this book it says Jade is the lifeblood of the island of Kikan I hope I'm saying that right. It has been mined, traded, stolen, and killed for, and for centuries, honorable green bone warriors like the Cole family have used it to enhance their magical abilities and defend them at the island from foreign invasions. Now the war is over and a new generation of calls vies for control of Kikon's bustling capital city. They care about nothing but protecting their own, cornering the jade market, and defending the districts under their protection. Ancient tradition has little place in this rapidly changing nation. When a powerful new drug emerges that lets anyone, even foreigners, wield jade, the simmering tension between the calls and the rival Ayat family erupts into open violence. The outcome of this clan war will, will determine the fate of all green bones and from their grandest patriarch to the lowliest motorcycle runner on the streets. 
and of Kakan itself. It says, Jade City begins an epic tale of family and honor, the godfather with magic and kung fu set in an Asia-inspired fantasy metropolis. So this sounds really interesting. It sounds something that I definitely will love. And then it also has maps. It has the island of Kakan right here on it which I do love maps and books. It gives me pretty much a, a input and has me give me a visual of what it looks like. And then this is the city of Jan Lu. Jan Lu. So yeah, I, like I said, I do plan on reading this either probably next month in February or March. Uh, but I do want to read this series. I heard nothing about great things about it. So I definitely want to start reading it. So that way I can get to the third book and then to the new book that she will be releasing, I think in April called The Jan Lu Setter. I think correct me if I'm wrong um but yeah so definitely look forward to the series and then I have this one this is from Fairy Loot and I've been waiting for this so let me open this okay so now that it is officially opened this is Our Violet Ends by Chloe Gong and also she made an announcement that she'll have a spin-off series following following up with this so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this I've seen on a lot of a lot of uh, you know, talk on Twitter how some people love the cover for the, the spinoff series and some people just do not like it. But either way, I'm still going to read it. Chloe Gong's writing is really beautiful and I love her writing. Um, but this is the second book of These Violent Delights. It's a duology. And like I said, this is called Our Violet Ends. And this is the exclusive Owl Crate edition. So it has the sprayed edges. And then on the back, it says the year is 1927 and Shanghai teeters on the edge of revolution. So it has that on the back. And then if I take the dust jacket off, which I do believe it's a reversible dust jacket, this is what it looks like. So we have the main characters, Roma and Juliet. And then on the and then we just have this, the hardcover, which it looks like this. So it's really pretty. I do like this a lot. Um, but let me read the synopsis for this one. I'm not sure. I know this is following up with what happens with pretty much the sickness if you call it <laughs> in the first book and how in the second book it pretty much starts up again so let me read the synopsis so it says the year is 1927 and shanghai teeters on the edge of revolution after sacrificing her relationship with roma to protect him from the blood feud juliet has been a girl on the war path one wrong move and her cousin will step in to usurp her place as the scarlet gang's heir the only way to save Roma from the Scarlets is to let him believe she murdered his best friend in cold blood. If Juliet were actually guilty, his rejection might sting less. Roma is still reeling from Marshall's death and his cousin uh, Benedict will probably, or excuse me, will barely speak to him. Roma knows it's his fault for letting the ruthless Juliet back into his life. And he's determined to, let, to set things right, even if that means killing the girl he hates and loves in equal measure. Then a new monstrous danger emerges in the city, and Juliet must secure Roma's co uh, cooperation if they are to end, his th end this threat once and for all. Shanghai is already at boiling point. The nationalists are marching in, whispers of civil war grow louder every day, and gangster rule faces complete annihilation. Roma and Juliet must put aside their differences to combat monsters and politics, but they aren't prepared for the biggest threat of all, protecting their hearts from each other. It says the heart-stopping follow-up to these violent ends, or excuse me, these violent delights, an imaginative, alluring retelling of Romeo and Juliet set in the 1920s Shanghai. Oh, so this sounds really good. And also just to let you know, it is signed by the author. But yes, I do plan, now that I have this, I, I do also have this on audiobook. So probably not this month, but this will probably be a, re a book that I read next month in February so that I can finish the duology. There's a lot of duologies that I need to finish and some books that I need to start because, you know, the next book of this in their series is coming out. So I definitely need to get my backlist together, which I do. I am currently reading my back black, excuse me, my backlist and also reading new, um, you know, new releases as well. Um, but yes, I do look forward to reading this. As you can see, I have the first book right here. So I'm definitely, definitely going to finish this and see what happens with Roma and Juliet and their relationship. So this is another book that I'm excited that I have and I do plan on reading really soon. And then the next book is Publisher Mail. So this is from Harper, Harper Collins. So let me open this one. Oh my gosh. So oh, this is another copy. So 
Herper Collins has sent me, ain't gonna, let no, <laughs> ain't gonna let nobody turn me around and I already have this copy. So I might just give this away to somebody. Um, but yeah, I have the other copy literally like right here. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much, Her Herper Collins. Uh, I'm definitely going to be giving this away to somebody that wants it. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen my review about this book or what I did, because I was part of a book tour, I'll leave that up above in the cards. So you can definitely check that out. But this book was brilliant. Um, Kathleen um, did a wonderful job with this and I definitely recommend this book. So yeah, thank you so much HarperCollins. I do appreciate this. And then next we have another one and this is from Penguin Random House. So let me open this one. If I can get it out of the box. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, okay. So this is the, the next book. Um, this is the, the first book was uh, uh, Dog's First Baby. Now this one is Cat's First Baby. I had read the first book, you know, Dog's First Baby, and I loved it by Natalie Nelson. And this is the fall, the next book, which is Cat's First Baby. So I definitely will be reading this to my children. And on the back it says, I'm a cat. Are you a cat? Cat is curious. There's a new addition to the family, but who exactly is this small being? This new arrival doesn't meow like a cat or smell like a cat or even have a tail like a cat. As Cat investigates, he might, he just might come to appreciate this loud, silly family member. After all, they both enjoy a good cat nap. In Cat's First Baby, the feline companion to Dog's First Baby, Natalie Nelson captures the wonder and humor of a new baby through a cat's eyes. Sure to delight kids and cat parents alike, this board book promises to be a repeat aloud, uh, oh, oh, excuse me, to be a repeat read aloud favorite. So yes, I definitely look forward to reading this with my kids again. Like they love Dog's First Baby, so I can only imagine that they'll love this one as well. So yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. So I cannot wait to read this. And then next, we have another one and this is from Macmillan. So let's open this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I won this from a giveaway off of uh, Instagram and oh my God, let me, let me, just, oh my God. Oh gosh. Okay. Let me just take the plastic off first before I show y'all what it, what this is. Oh, so this is an arc, um, but they gave me the, the little paper back with it. Like it's, it's pretty, it's special. So it says who gets to be the hero of any history. And this is what it looks like. And then the book is Goliath. <laughs> by Tochiana Bucci. Oh my gosh. Yes. So this is a little special slip cover, which I'll definitely be keeping. But this is the arc, which this book comes out on the 25th of this month. And I am so excited to read this. I've heard nothing but great things about this book. When I saw that it was coming out in January, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to read this. But this will probably definitely be a February read. Um, but on the front, it says, Unabushi sets fire to the boundary between fiction and reality, riveting, disturbing, and rendered in masterful detail. And that was said by Lee Bardugo. Oh my gosh. And of course, as you know, this is the author of From Riot Baby, which I haven't read yet, but I do plan on doing that. Um, but let me read the synopsis on the back. So it says, in his adult novel debut, Hugo, Nebula, Locus, and NAACP Image Award finalist, and Alex and New England Book Award winner, Tochi Anabuchi, is delivers a sweeping science fiction epic in the vein of Samuel R. Delaney and Station Eleven. It says in the 2050s, Earth has begun to empty. Those with the means and the privilege have departed the great cities of the United States for the more comfortable confines of space colonies. Those left behind salvage what they can from the collapsing infrastructure. As they eke out an existence, their neighborhoods are being cannibalized. Brick by brick, their houses are sent to the colonies. What was once a home, now a quaint reminder for the colonists of the world that they wrecked. A primal biblical epic flung into the future, Goliath weaves together desperate, desperate narratives. A space dweller looking at New Haven, Connecticut, as a chance to reconnect with his spiraling, spiraling lover, a group of laborers attempting to renew the promises of Earth's crumbling cities, 
a journalist attempting to capture the violence of the streets, a marshal trying to solve a kidnapping into a richly urgent mosaic about race, class, gentrification, and who is allowed to be the hero of any history. Oh my gosh. I definitely cannot wait to read this. I have I even pre-ordered this book, so I do plan on getting my um my uh copy when it comes out. But oh my gosh, I cannot wait to read this. I like when I saw this, I fell in love with the cover first off, and then with the story, I was even more intrigued. And it's science fiction, which I do want to read a little bit more science fiction this year. Um, but yes, if it, it comes out on the 25th, so definitely pre-order. If you haven't done it, you still have time to do so. Um, but yes, oh my gosh, I'm so excited that I got this, and I'm definitely like I said, I'm gonna keep the little uh slip cover because I think that gives it a little extra so that's really beautiful oh my gosh but yes I cannot wait to read this ah! and then finally <clears throat> I have this right here which I opened it because I wasn't sure what it was but I wanted to still share with you all what it is so let me take it out and I definitely will be having a nice little frame for it oh my gosh and it is a poster and it's signed by oh, everyone oh my gosh okay which I think since I ordered uh the 1619 project this was a little add-on a little uh, something you could get and I definitely am so happy that I got this and I definitely will be getting a frame for this I just need to find the perfect uh sizing but let me read the note first so it says dear reader thank you for pre-ordering pre-ordering a copy of the 1619 project born on the water by nicole hannah jones and renee watson and illustrated by nicholas smith enjoy your exclusive print sincerely penguin kids <sighs> so i'm not even gonna take it out of plastic i'm not even gonna do that i'm gonna wait till i get my poster or my little um frame for it but here is the poster and it is also signed by everyone down below um but yes this poster is gorgeous and I definitely will be getting a cut you know like I said a frame for it because this is just stunning and I love it so I definitely want to take care of this I need to literally figure out the measurements of this I have a I think I have an idea of what it measures so I definitely will be getting the frame but yeah this is it right here and then that is it that is all my book mail that I've gotten in the mail <laughs> this was definitely a treat this was mo this definitely felt like a birthday month for me uh having all these gorgeous books um but yeah I really hope to enjoy this video um I know it's been a long time since you've seen me I know there has been there's gonna be another video that I'll be posting uh later on but yeah it's been a little bit a slow month for me but i have been doing a lot of reading i have read a total of 10 books so far so hopefully i can at least read 13 this month altogether before it's over um but overall these are all the books that i've gotten in the mail and of course i got my poster from penguin kids um but yeah that is it that is everything um like i said i really hope to enjoy this video if you did please 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 give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when i upload more videos in the future but thank you so much for watching you guys and please stay healthy and stay safe see ya